Jeremy, Jack Darling really stood up and was a shining light inside Ford. 54 goals yesterday. He's taken his game to another level, hasn't he? Yeah, um, I think he's, he's just been off it a little bit the last few weeks. We've been waiting for him sort of to put a real good game together and he did obviously last night kicking four and um, he offers, offers so much up forward as kicking goals, but um, he does a lot more than that that uh, people probably don't give him rec recognition for sometimes. So it's good to see him get a result with four goals. West Coast have now got a fight on their hands to try and lock away that top four spot. And Adam Simpson knows that. He had this to say after the game. The season's still alive, so um, our ability to not give up and still fight for the season um, has got to be as strong as it ever has. It's a tough run home when you throw in GWS, Hawthorne and Adelaide there, Jeremy, but you've still got to believe two of those are at home that you can get those wins to lock away that all-important top four. Yeah, oh, definitely. If we want to make top four, we've obviously got to get a couple of wins there, so um, which is a big challenge for us. But uh, like I said, we're at home, which, which helps a bit, but um, it shouldn't really matter if we're at home or not. We, is, we need to get a win. Is the MCG anything to do with that? Um, obviously, well, the form there hasn't been great. Is, is there a, something you can do differently, or is it the shape of the ground? Or Yeah, well, I think it's just a bit more experience. The more we can play on it, the better. But, um, yeah, we can't shy away from the facts of we're not playing too well in the MCG. But um, we need to look into it and see what it is, because if you want to win a grand final, you've got to win on the MCG. So if you want to win finals, you've got to, you've got to win there. So we've got to look into that. And, um, obviously, the more we can plan it, the better, but um, obviously being WAT makes it a bit hard at times. We got a real glimpse of, obviously, your bravery as well yesterday. Just a uh, bit of uh, effort here running back with the flight and uh, got collected, mate. How how did you pull up after that one? Yeah, well, you rattled me a bit there. Um, I, I, don't, I haven't even seen it until then, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I should have got up and kept running. But uh, Just admiring nah. your work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, nah, you just rattled me a bit. Um, no, nah, that's footy these days. You've you got to go back sometimes. and um, If you copy hit, you copy hit, I guess. And on the back of that, Jeremy, it's time for our shaver shop, Transform Yourself. And uh, you're the man this week. Uh, obviously coming in, we've got vision of you kicking your very first goal. You obviously played a lot of time as a forward and then... Now we know you as a key defender, but you also had a few challenges. You had to go drop a bit of weight because you yep. came back from pre-season and make sure you got that professionalism up. Um, yep. How have you transformed your game? Yeah, um, I had a lot of learning to do, obviously. Um, I'm a country boy at heart, so I'd never really seen, been into the system or been around it at all um, until I got picked up. Uh, and it took me a couple of years. I sort of went through the motions and um, probably didn't understand what it was like. And Simo sent me away for a couple of weeks and... Uh, really showed me what it's like to be a professional athlete. I was lucky enough to have Martin Nikoski with me who um, got me through it all. And, uh, you know, I fixed that sort of behind the scenes sort of stuff. I th thought my footy and my training was always all right, but um, it's just that other side which I had to fix up and then the footy sort of took care of itself from there. All that interstate travel too, the uh, the buffets, the spreads that they put out. Yeah, they don't help you. Trips. No, <laughs> so, <it's laughs> all you can eat. Oh, it's, that's what I was saying. From the first couple of games to now, it's changed completely. I'll tell you what, um, I used to have a fair crack at the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> what about the uh, most talked about man in WA, Nick Nat? When, when's he back? Yeah, oh, hopefully soon. Um, it's always good to have him out there. Um, I'm sure that'll solve a couple of problems, but not all of them, but um, it's definitely great to have him out there. Hopefully next week. I was hoping we'll get him this week, but obviously the uh, coaching staff and physio staff sort of said no, but yeah, the sooner the better, I think. Do you ever actually read when you're running out what's on the banner? Yeah, I did on the weekend. I have my name on it. You know, the same before you guys, you guys were talking about milestones. If you got me 50th, boys, I was... Oh, yeah. One of the biggest exactly. one now. That is very ordinary by us. Nah, no, nah, don't, don't be like that did at all. Did you ask for it to be chaired off? Is that right? Or yeah, well, I did. I'll put the hand up if we want. I said, get me off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> boys couldn't lift me, though. I'm a bit, a bit heavy for them. <laughs> We've done a little bit of comparing. We're going to compare you and Mitch again. Just who's the better mark? You've both got a sensational pair of hands. You've both taken some beautiful grabs this year. Who's better? I've always said, even if Mitch is better, I've taught him everything he knows anyway. So <laughs> I'll give it to Mitch. Mitch, yeah, he's probably taken a few better ones than probably what I have, but um, I've taught him everything he knows anyway. Well, while we're comparing marks, who's the better on social media? I can't believe you've put this on for his first game. Yeah, his first game? <laughs> he's obviously done his first, first poo there as well. <laughs> <laughs> which was good. We got around him. And How did you have that good. photo? I've, I've, I've always kept it. It's a crutch. <laughs> I've always the kept photo, it the sleeve. The photo the... I, I said there's going to be an occasion one day and I'll keep this and that was, that was probably my occasion. <laughs> so we're going to let you go soon, Jeremy. We really appreciate no you joining us. But we've got quick hands. We're going to fire a few questions at you. And I'm going to start it off. Is it true when you go four-wheel driving that you spend most of your time bogged? <laughs> yeah, so on, the, on the weekend I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was lucky. A couple of locals up at Lansland helped me, uh, helped me get out the other week. But... Um, 
Yeah, no, that's a, that's probably a fair point. Right? <laughs> Jez, is it true that you got ejected from the stadium during your under-16 basketball grand final? Oh, yeah, I don't know where you're getting this from, but yes, <laughs> I did. I'm not too proud of it, but um, yeah, I did. I did actually. I got got I got pretty bad temper on that. Did you win? Oh, I don't know. Uh, no, we didn't win. No, because I was off. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you go camping, obviously the right thing to do as a man is to set up the campsite, but you let your partner set the tent up? No, I right? no, never, I'd never let her do that. No <laughs> way. Um, we wouldn't be sleeping too comfy if I let her do that. But um, <laughs> no, nah, nah, not at all, I don't let her do that. You've spoken about your love of buffet. Is it true you've, in one sitting you've had two large pizzas, two garlic breads and a 1.25 litre Oh, I've done it once, yes. I'm pretty ashamed of it, but it has happened a few years ago, a fair few years ago now, but, yeah, it has happened. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't Friday night, the pre-match nah, meal. No, not at all. No. No, the back of the day it was, but um, no, I had to change it up pretty quick. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. The Derby next week against Fremantle, that's always huge. Really appreciate it. Good luck for the rest of the season. Yes, thanks for having me. <laughs>